Hey guys, it's Mega Robert from Mega Robert TV, and today I'm going to review issue 47 of Mega Man. So, this issue starts out where Mega Man is fighting the new Yellow Devil in Dr. Wily's third castle. So, unlike the last Yellow Devil, this guy can actually shoot lasers out of his one eye. So, you know, that's not good for the Blue Bomber at all. But what Mega Man realizes is that last time he fought the Yellow Devil, he actually won by shooting it in that one eye. So if Mega Man could do that again, he might just be able to win, and that's what he goes for. So as the new Yellow Devil is running at Mega Man, Mega Man charges at it ready with his hard knuckle and shoots it straight in the Yellow Devil's eye and completely destroys him. So this fight was actually pretty short. It only really lasted two pages. Uh, but that's going to be a running trend that actually happens in this issue with really short but fun fights. And uh, I'll explain that more in a second, but let's move on to the next scene. So after that happens, Mega Man starts running down this hall before a scanner comes and completely uh, scans him to create a new evil Mega Man. And we've seen, you know, evil Mega Mans before. And, you know, we called him Copy Robot. And this guy is basically the same as every other copy of Mega Man we've seen before. But the difference now is that this guy actually talks a lot more. And Mega Man uh, even says that, you know, you're a lot less quiet than you were last time. Because during the first Mega Man arc, uh, Copy Robot was actually really creepy because he just had red eyes and he wouldn't say anything at all to Mega Man. But now it seems like this guy's not gonna stop, you know, talking at all. And, uh, of course, Mega Man, he really doesn't want to kill a version of himself. So, you know, he tells, uh, Copy Robot, you know, you know, we can, we don't have to fight right now. Uh, we can just, you know, go our peaceful ways. And then Mega Man, uh, you know, Copy Robot Mega Man basically goes, I can't do that. You know, it's in our function. And Mega Man's like, what do you mean our function? And as he says that, two more versions of Copy Robot jump down from another level of the ceiling and they land there and now there's three Copy Robots fighting the original, uh, just like the Mega Man 3 game. So at this part I was super excited because I couldn't wait to see how Mega Man was going to use his special weapons to fight three versions of uh, a normal Mega Man with just the arm cannon. But what I didn't realize is that these three copies of Mega Man also have their own versions of, you know, the Shadow Blade and the Gemini Beam, and, you know, they are going to use those against Mega Man. So now it's a three versus one fight, and Mega Man is sort of on the losing end, but what he realizes midway through the fight is that only one of those copy robots is actually the real copy robot. The other two are holograms similar to the way uh, Gemini Man fought Mega Man a couple issues back. So, so once Mega Man realizes that, he uses his search snake attack to go through the copy robot holograms and actually attack the real copy robot and, you know, get the fight over with quick. So after that happens, copy robot is kind of weak now. He's kneeling on the floor. You know, his fight is basically done. Uh, but what I like about this part of the issue is that instead of Mega Man just killing him right away, Mega Man actually goes up to him and, you know, starts giving this kind of small speech that's really unique to um, any of the speeches he's given in the Mega Man 3 arc. And he basically tells Copy Robot, you know, you're supposed to be a copy of me, right? So shouldn't you also have the potential to do just as much good as I have? And Copy Robot thinks about that for a second. And he's like, yeah, you know what? I'm a copy of Mega Man. So I am, you know, indirectly kind of like a superhero. You know, I can help you out. So right before Mega Man and Copy Robot are about to team up to take down Dr. Wily, um, a crash bomb comes out of nowhere and hits Copy Robot straight in the back. But before Copy Robot completely explodes, he pushes Mega Man out of the way. And right as that happens, the flames explode and Copy Robot is completely destroyed. Mega Man is kind of teary-eyed now because he realizes that you know, this robot that was about to come to the good side is now completely dead and there's no way to bring it back. So he looks to the side and realizes that Copy Robot's executioner was actually Doc Robot. And um, Mega Man at this point doesn't know who Doc Robot is. So he starts asking a couple questions like, who are you? You know, I don't even know who you are. Are you created by Dr. Wily? And then Doc Robot starts talking and Mega Man recognizes some voices. He's like, wait, are you... Quick Man, Wood Man, Bubble Man, and he realizes that all eight of the Mega Man 2 Robot Masters are all inside this robot that is called Doc Robot. And um, 
Mega Man is kind of overwhelmed at this point because he realizes he's not just fighting one robot now. He's fighting one robot with eight different powers and eight different strategies in its head. So he starts fighting and he's completely on the losing end until he gets knocked through um, a solid cement wall. And as he gets knocked through, he you know jumps up and he looks and he realizes that he sees a wall of capsules um, across you know across this hidden laboratory uh, with the old bodies of the Mega Man 2 robot masters. And as he's looking at them, he realizes that this robot is not really a combination of the Mega Man 2 Robot Masters, but really just this kind of messed up, uh, you know, poorly created mix of personalities that don't even get along. So Mega Man comes up with this strategy that, you know, if he can somehow get Doc Robot to fall apart mentally, he might just be able to win this thing. So, uh... Mega Man starts attacking Doc Robot again, but unlike last time, Mega Man actually starts talking some smack. And you know, he's running, uh, throwing some uh, Gemini beams his way, and he's like, you know, Doc Robot, I wanted to ask you something. Are you really one robot now, or are you eight of them in one body? And uh, you know, Woodman inside Doc Robot, he's like, oh, we're one united force now. And Quick Man is like, not really, you know, I'm still better than all of you. And uh, then Air Man gets angry, and Bubble Man is trying to keep everything uh, completely peaceful. And, you know, Mega Man starts winning now because he's getting Doc Robot all confused. Uh, but right when it looks like Mega Man is about to win the fight, a uh, Flash Man takes control of Doc Robot's body and freezes Mega Man in place. So Mega Man is just kind of stuck there. He has no idea what's going on. And one of the most epic parts of this issue is uh, the next part where Doc Robot walks up to the frozen Mega Man and he puts his gun right next to Mega Man's head and he's about to decapitate him completely and then right before he shoots his laser his his Mega Buster you know stops working and then he gets super angry he's like what's wrong with us why can't we just pick a weapon already and as he says that he accidentally unfreezes Mega Man uh, to the point where you know Mega Man is conscious again he knows what's going on and then right before Mega Man attacks, Doc Robot starts shaking and glitching out like crazy. And then he crashes into the ground where, uh, and then a sign pops up, you know, uh, in his eyelids or above his head that says, you know, system failure, uh, AI, IC chips not computing. And uh, so Mega Man has basically won the fight now. But Doc Robot uh, is still alive. And I assume that's where they were going to leave it, where... Uh, Doc Robot is just kind of knocked out and Mega Man runs away, but that's not actually what happens at all. What happens is Mega Man with, you know, some tears in his eyes, he goes up to Doc Robot and he's basically, you know, he's like, I'm really sorry Dr. Wily had to force you to do this, but I promise I'll give you a better life next time. And as he says that, he completely blasts Doc Robot's head off. So after that happens, Mega Man walks into another dark chamber where out of nowhere Dr. Wily jumps out in this giant walking drill kind of machine uh, ready to destroy Mega Man. And as he's attacking him, Dr. Wily is constantly screaming, you know, Mega Man, you're gonna die! Mega Man, you're gonna die! And he just keeps saying that over and over again. And after a while, you do realize, like, wait, is this a recording again? And Mega Man also comes to that conclusion, and he goes, man, if this is another hologram, I'm going to be pretty angry. So he opens up the lid of the machine once he gets close enough, and he realizes Dr. Wily is inside there, or at least he thinks he is. So he grabs uh, Dr. Wily by the collar, and then all of a sudden, Dr. Wily's head pops off, and there's a spring there. So, you know, it was just, um, it was just a booby trap. It was just another trick uh, by Dr. Wily. And there was a recording. It wasn't just Wily going crazy. But after that happens... Uh, Mega Man is pretty optimistic now. You know, he realizes that Wily just left a completely unmanaged uh, computer system in the machine right there, so Mega Man can find Gamma using that. So he types in some codes, and then bam, you know, he gets location of where Gamma is in Dr. Wily's new castle. And what he realizes is that Gamma is actually in the basement right below them. So he jumps off the machine, he uses some crash bombs to uh, to blow up the floor, and right there standing is Gamma. But what Mega Man finally realizes is that Gamma is not deactivated. Gamma is actually ready to attack. So Gamma turns his head up to Mega Man and basically, you know, goes uh, intruder alert, and he's ready to attack Mega Man. And then Mega Man has this flashback of where he was talking to Dr. Light about not wanting to destroy Gamma, because, you know, Light Labs doesn't have enough money to actually support another um, version of Gamma. 
uh, if Mega Man destroys this one. But Dr. Light says something really cool in this issue where he basically says, you know, I'd rather lose all my money than uh, live in a world that is destroyed by Dr. Wily. So whatever you do, destroy Gamma if you can't rescue him. So Mega Man has that flashback, and then he attacks Gamma and blows his head off. So right there, you know, that seemed like a pretty quick finish. Uh, and it looks like, you know, Mega Man basically saved the day. What Mega Man doesn't realize, though, is Dr. Wily is about to fly in on his flying saucer and uh, land on Gamma's head and take control from there uh, with his mind control device. So Dr. Wily does that, and while Mega Man is in shock, uh, Dr. Wily says his final line of the issue, which is basically something like, you know, I was ready for anything you had, you brat. And as he says that, he controls Gamma's body, where Gamma lifts his arm up, cracks the entire floor above him, and reaches for Mega Man right before he grabs him. And that's where the issue ends. So next month is actually going to be the final issue of the Mega Man 3 arc. So we'll see if that issue could actually top issue 47. And uh, I'm really hoping it does. So question of the day, guys. What did you think of issue 47? Uh, tell me in the comment section below. This is Mega Robert, signing off.